They conceded that the law is white, which means that we are winning your needless claim here, which is the reason why you can vote at uh, F on that also it's in the false evidence it says that no black individual is safe now and that it, these stories always go uncovered because of the fact that we're always looking at rape from along gender lines well, I'll get to that once they uh where they said like the foster evidence, the analysis. They would extend hopes that white slave masters would always cast a position of the aggressive on the black and that the extent of Harmon evidence that says that legal codification has always pushed blacks to the periphery of these federal institutions, has always pushed them outside, which means that this legal coding has always affected the black body and the status quo. Also they said, um, I'll just answer this, I guess, right above here. They said we can't solve back for anti-blackness, but one, we're saying that we're a radical disruption of these structures right now by bringing, injecting these narratives into this debate that we say is important, and uh, onto one by one. They said that waiting in water, waiting in water, successful form of opacity. But once again, they never answer the fact that waiting in water is, or we understand the method of waiting in water because of this historical analysis, because of the fact that people have extended it on through history. We need to undertake this other historical analysis, of understanding how the law has always coded links of black body. Also extending the perm, they said that this is a reason why. But one, we don't give a strategy. We're just saying that this historical analysis, we never understand uh, tell them how we undertake this. But one, we can uh, still do opacity and still do the AF, uh, weight and water proofs. Also extend, uh, yeah, extended opacity is a method of whiteness because of the fact that they're reading it against two other black people. This is another form of disenfranchisement that the negative is undertaking, which is why we're saying that this method is white. Is that that they say that whiteness um, is white people are racist, not opa uh, opaque, but we're saying that it, it is a method of uh, whiteness in this debate because of the fact that they're reading it against other two other black people, which always leads to further disenfranchisement. Also, they said that visibility is different and that they never we uh, that they. Never say why this space is free, but one, we're saying that this space is important because of the fact that we can disrupt this current pedagogical space of academia by injecting this visible uh, visible narrative, or uh, so extending out of dermatric evidence, that says that increased visibility is crucial to disrupting white supremacy around because of the fact that if we keep going, or if we keep going to the undercomments right now, there's no way to solve back for that because of the fact that this radical disruption is the only way they can solve back now, which is a dis to the critique. So we're generating all things here. Just make the delineation between visibility and transparency. Visibility is true. Oh, okay. Wait, no, no, no. What are you talking about? Okay, hold on. Okay, uh, already extended the bronze and evidence that says that opaque is a strategy of whiteness. Why not for me? Okay. And also, extending on the, uh, they said the foster now, uh, they said the status quo is violent, that we make it worse, but one foster in the card calls for us to acknowledge this rape that's gone on because of, or the unacknowledgement of rape that has gone on because we are looking at it from, uh, looking at it from a long gender line, which is the reason why Squo is violent now, but the lab only has a chance to solve back for this. Also, they said that the movement is co opted, but one, I want to point out that they read a Harney and Moton card. Harney and Moton, one, write books, and two, have sold out shows so white people in this round can still still go look up what they're reading about opacity, so their movement also gets co-opted, so you can vote half on presumption in that case also because of their, they're uh, acting for a different um, strategy, so they're advocating for something. Also, extended the Giroux evidence, they grouped it all together but did no analysis. Uh, they said the right wing is waging war on its pedagogical space now, and we are a radical disruption of this because of that. We're injecting these narratives into this debate around these, in this space that has always been anti-black, but radically, um, Disruption also. Also, it's an other draw evidence that says the opacity achieves the problem and it undermines the remaining spaces. If we were to go back now and enact opacity in this space, the fact or in this space right now, where it's actually key or critical to engaging our narratives, that takes away from the space, which means that there's no solvency for opacity, and they also uh, also they can't have race the base without opacity. So we're never able to solve back or at least radically disrupt these anti-black place or anti-black structures if we can't have discussions about this, which is another dis to the critique they. Also, they said that. Uh, the genealogy I'm going there. Okay. Okay. Uh, Um, they said that our their approach is critical to create a uh, useless uh, innocent anth or anthropology to exist within a state. But once again, that you can 
that argument is a turn to itself because they always get assimilated, which means this movement gets co-opted and they said that we have to exist within the state, we have to work within the state. There's no reason why they're not promoting whiteness in that sense that they have to exist within this anti-black structure. Also extend our James evidence that says that use of narratives create a moment of radical disruption. They said that this space isn't, or that we can see that this space isn't always safe and they cross the line analysis up there, but we're, re we're saying that this is a reason why, because of this space, is isn't safe, we need to, dis or, need to inject these narratives into it. Also, elevating this uh, elevation of the Smith's voice offers a, po uh, a, a possibility of creating a space that allows for the uh, allows for the emergence of perspective of all people. This goes to see that we're extending the permutation. Uh, their commodification DA, they said that the abs knowledge is now taken from the academy, which turns case. But once again, the, the, once again, I've done the analysis about what the radical disruption and uh, the James evidence. Uh, or, the extension of James Evans. Also, uh, they said that anti uh, historical analogies is always turned on black flesh, but once again, the extent of foster evidence here that says that this now is key to actually having these discussions. And they said that historical research is focuses on kinship and uh, ignores other forms of solidarity, but once again, um, we're not a uh, kinship genealogy uh, 